Hello everybody, The Creeps here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an Ong shield. So the first thing you're going to need is 20 obsidian, which can be found underground, by putting water on top of lava. Then we're going to need a cobalt shield, which can be found in locked golden dungeon chests, or loot boxes, which can be found in the dungeon. Next, we're going to need a fast clock, which can be found from mummies, Dark Mummies, Wraths, and Pixies. So, the next thing we're going to need is a trifold map, which can be dropped from Clowns, Light Mummies, and Giant Bats. Then the next thing we're going to need is Armor Polish, which are, is dropped from Armored Skeletons and Blue Armored Bones found in the dungeon. And the next thing we're going to need is some Vitamins, which can be dropped from Corruptors, and floaty gross. These are the evil hard mode hard mode uh, mobs found in your world's evil. Then we're gonna need a blindfold right here, which can be found or dropped from dark mummies, slime leans, and corrupt slimes found in found in the world evil. So then. The next thing we're going to need is a, a Nazar, which can be dropped from Enchanted Swords, Cursed Hammers, Crimson Axes, Crimson Axes, and Cursed Souls, or Skulls, Cursed Skulls, which can be found underground and in the dungeon. The next thing we're going to need is a Megaphone, which is dropped from Green Jellyfish, Dark Mummies, and Pixies. So, you can find those. In. They have a chance of dropping from them. A low chance for all of these, by the way. The next thing we're going to need is a, a bazaar. Or a base. A, I forgot what it's called. A, ba a bazaar. I think I'm saying that right. Which can be dropped from tar toxic sledges, mars, moss hornets, or normal hornet, hornets. That they. That has a drop from. Chance from dropping them. And then finally. We're going to need an adhesive bandage, which has a chance of drop from rusty armored bones, ang anglerfish, and werewolves, which can be found in your world where they will naturally be found. So, so we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to need is an obsidian skull. should be down here in the crafting area, so right here, obsidian skull. What you need for this one is a furnace. So need a furnace for that so we can go ahead and craft this so then so then the next thing we're gonna need is is the obsidian shield so that can be found right here and you need the tinker's workshop which can be found from the goblin tinker here it can be bought from him I'll explain how you get him later so so we need to craft this obsidian shield using the Tinker's Workshop table. So then, the next thing we're gonna need is the plan. Sounds cool there, just the plan. Where we need our trifold map and our fast clock. So, the plan is right here. And I'll go ahead and craft that. The next thing we're gonna make is needing the megaphone and the nazar, the counter curse, men, 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 mentra, I, I think I'm saying that right, hopefully. So, it's right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and craft that. Then the next thing we're gonna need is use this armor polish and the vitamins, the armor bracing, and it looks like this. So once you craft that, you can put it in your inventory. And the last thing we need to craft for this is the adhesive bandage plus the bazaar, which makes the medicated bandage, and it looks like that. So then, after we have all that, we can make the ink charm, which is down here. Right here combines all of that with your blindfold also. I think I forgot to say that. But you also need a blindfold for this. The blindfold can be dropped from, let's see, it's right here. Dark mummies, slime leans, and crap slimes. Yeah, I already said blindfold. Sorry about that. So once you have all that, you can make the ink charm. I'm not actually sure how to say that so then once you have that 
You can craft yourself an ink shield using the obsidian shield and the amp charm right here. Now we have ourselves an amp charm. This is equipable. You can put it down here in your inventory slot. And if I make it visible, if I can click the button, then it it'll it it puts it on you. So now time to just explain this. So the ink shield right here, I'll move it back to my inventory. It it grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks and grants immunity to most debuffs. And the debuffs are bleeding, arm broken armor, burning, chilled, confusing, cursed, darkness, poisoned, silenced, slow, and weak. Grants immunity to all those debuffs. The Unk Shield is the has the longest crafting tree and it is the hardest thing to get since all of the items you need or most of the items you need are dropped have a one percent chance for dropping in normal mode when you're not in expert mode have a one chance from dropping from the thing the mobs or or yeah mobs I listed the monsters and if you're in expert mode they have a two percent chance of dropping so that is pretty hard to get so it takes a lot of work for this and the tinkers workshop can be bought from the goblin tinker over here right behind all my cell phone information if you want to see how to craft this cell phone you can see it using in the description or the card that i put up so you can be bought from him for one or some some gold i'm pretty sure and uh he can be found underground. It'll he's one of, he um he'd be tied up, it looks like, and then once you save him, if you have a housing available, he'll live there. So after you have once you it he appears after you have defeated a goblin army. So after you defeat a goblin army, you can find him in the underground underground. Craft a tinker or buy the tinker's workshop. And create after yourself an onk, an onk shield. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you you can like, subscribe if you liked it or enjoyed it. So I hope I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.